Jeff's Superscript is brought to you by Black Cat Comics and Collectibles. In my opinion, the best comic shop and clubhouse on the internet. Follow them at Black Cat Burbank on Instagram and join their claim sales on Tuesdays for new books and Fridays for back issues. And don't forget to ask about joining their Stray Cats Club for special perks. Hi, I'm Jeff and welcome to another one of my videos. Today's video is going to be yet another mail call unboxing. Yes, we're at it again. In fact, I have three different mail calls to unbox for you in this video alone. Yeah, there's been a lot of mail calls for me recently. I might need to scale that back a little bit, but for now, I'm going to enjoy what I have here in store. I have two things here that are both something new, and then I have a box of things right here that represent some things that are older. Uh, but all of them I am extremely excited about. If you are excited to see what I have in these boxes as well, please take this opportunity to hit that like button. Just minimize your screen, hit the like button. It's really simple. And you can maximize your screen right back up and enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you so much for hitting that like button if you just did. All right, we are going to go ahead and dig in to these right away. I'm gonna tell you right off that the first two things that I'm gonna be opening, the some things new that I mentioned, are both from the same um, online store, Scott's Collectibles. Scott's Collectibles has been a resource that I have been going to over and over and over again recently for store exclusives. I really like the people that they're working with. I really like the titles that they're working with, and I really like the, the product that they're um, providing for customers. I am a follower of their Facebook group. I'm gonna put a link down in the description to their Facebook page. I highly recommend that you follow Scott's Collectibles on Facebook. They are fantastic. They're also really fast with their shipping. So let's see what's in this first one. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna take it out very carefully. They put them in these comic mailer boxes, which are kind of great. They're also kind of nerve wracking a little bit because they have cardboard pieces that pinch down the comic book a little bit. Uh, you'll see here, the comic book fits inside here and it's held in place by this, not tape, not anything, just the pressure of these little flaps right here. Uh, it's a little nerve wracking to me, but they seem to be working for them. Hopefully they worked well for me. Okay, the first book I want to show you today is Something is Killing the Children, number 15. This is the Alan Qua Wraparound variant. Now, I am not going to take this out of its bag and board and show you the wraparound. That's what these photos are for. I'm going to show you a photo of what it looks like um, when it's complete and what it should, looks like on the front and what it looks like on the back. This sold out so fast. Um, and this is the one and only, so far to date, wraparound cover that exists for something is killing the children. And it's a pretty cool one there of Erica Slaughter with those twin blades flying through the air while she is literally surrounded on two sides of the cover of this book with monsters. This is really pretty great. And at first glance, it looks to be in excellent condition. This I knew I was gonna send directly to CGC because I think it'll look really, really great in uh, as a wraparound cover inside a CGC encapsulated holder. Oh, okay. Let's keep moving forward. This once again is another something new, also once again from Scott's Collectibles. Uh, this one I bought on Sunday and it came on Thursday. So they had them all packed. They had them all ready to go. They shipped them out immediately. It is so impressive that they got these out to their purchasers as quickly as they do. One of the many reasons I like Scott's collectibles. Okay, let's be careful here with the Comic Shield box. Now in here are two comic books. 
Um, they are of the same book. One is a virgin and one is a trade dress. And this one, I'll go ahead and I'll show you the trade dress one first. Wow. Uh, this is for uh, the Department of Truth, number six. This is art done by Ben Oliver. And these are both foil covers. Now, it's very possible that this cover is not photographing very well because of the foilness of it. Um, I will include some photos here off to the side that'll show you what this book looks like when it's photographed really, really well. But I decided to get this book because I really am a big fan of Department of Truth. And this is a super creepy image. Um, in fact, this virgin one that I'm looking at right here, I mean, it looks especially awesome and creepy. The, the foil aspect of it in the skin tone of the star-faced man there looks really, really good in person. Like, once again, I don't know if it's photographing very well, but wow, that looks really cool. And I figured that it would look really cool in person, which is why I went ahead and pulled the trigger on it. And in typical Scott's Collectibles fashion, it, it looks to be in perfect condition. So, you know, some of these Something is Killing the Children covers kind of unnerve me. Like, a lot of people are really into the Department of Truth number 2, uh, 1 in 25 variant, which shows the star-faced man, like, with a fork and a knife about to eat a baby. I'm not a big fan of it. <laughs> because it creeps me out too much, uh, even though it's very collectible. Uh, but this one creeps me out as well, but it's really cool. I mean, I'm just looking at it over right now. It, that's really cool. That's gonna make a really cool, creepy, presentable. So I'm very excited about all those books. Thank you, Scott's Collectible. You do great work. Once again, I highly recommend that you follow them on Facebook and check out what they have to offer. All right, let's get into this next box. And this next box is a group of comic books that I bought all from one seller on eBay through three different eBay listings. Now, this seller is somebody who I have purchased from many times before. And I have bought, I've probably bought, I've probably bought close to a hundred different X-Men books from this seller in particular. Um, and I've, I've always gotten really good deals uh, from them. So I've always been really happy with, with them. They're also fantastic with their shipping. They list the, their shipping prices. This is probably being very loud while I'm talking. They list their shipping prices. Um, the, the shipping prices they have listed seem not right. But once you purchase and you say, okay, I'm done purchasing, this is my thing, hey, could you give me the best shipping price you, you could? Um, they always do. They always end up adjusting my shipping to what I consider to be a very, very fair shipping cost. In fact, this ended up being something like 16 books, you know, and at first they wanted to charge me $19.50 in shipping. And I was like, that's, you usually do a lot better than that. Can we see what we can do? They ended up sending it to me for $8.50, which is usually what they ship about five, six, or seven books for. Um, so, like I said, they're a really great seller, and I keep going back to them over and over and over again. But what did I get from them? Yes, I kind of hinted at it before. I've bought a lot of X-Men books from them, and this is no exception. This is more X-Men books that I bought from them. So, the first book I bought from them, the whole reason I started buying from them, this group of books was so that I could get my hands on this book. It's X-Men 123 that they graded at an 8.0. Another thing I like about this seller is that they grade things, I think, way too low. I think that their books actually deserve much higher grades than what they give them. And they gave this book an 8.0. And at first glance, I cannot imagine why. This is the best looking 
8.0 I've ever seen. I'll dig into it a little bit later and see if there's like a chunk missing out of it someplace. But right now, looking at the front cover, this is a fantastic looking 8.0. And some of you may have already seen this video, but I recently bought 50 X-Men books from issues 94 through 143, and I did an unboxing for those, and of course this book was in there. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend checking it out. I'll put the card for it right up there. But I actually bought this book right before I purchased that lot of 50, so I just happen to have two of those right now. And that's okay, because let me tell you something, as I said in that video that I just referred to and put the card up for, you can't have too many X-Men books at this moment. So this is really, really great. So although I have completed my Chris Claremont run from issues 94 through um, 279, I kind of <laughs> had a blind spot where I didn't consider the annuals. I really wasn't thinking about the annuals at all. So I thought, let me pick up the annuals. And this seller provided two listings that had great opportunities to, um, for me to get my hands on annuals. A lot of these I have already, but some of them I don't. And let me go ahead and show them to you. We have X-Men Annual 4. I have to be careful with these because this seller, although they ship quality books and they ship them well, they don't always ship them in bags and boards. This is X-Men Annual 5. We have X-Men Annual 6. We have X-Men Annual 7. You getting the theme that we're going with right here right now? We have X-Men Annual 8. We have X-Men Annual 9 with this fantastic Storm Thor cover, Thor homage cover for X-Men Annual 9. I kind of expect that one to end up having some value at some point once we start getting Storm into the, SM the MCU. Then we have X-Men Annual 10. Then in the next batch we have X-Men Annual 11. Yes, yes. X-Men Annual 12. X-Men Annual 13. X-Men Annual 15. Oh yes, psych, yes. There is no X-Men Annual 14 in here. That would absolutely be the most valuable of these annuals. They were not part of the listing and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with just getting the, the ones I need and the few doubles that I have. I already have a copy of X-Men Annual 14 that I bought when it was brand new when I was a kid. So I'm covered on that. So I'm okay that they weren't included in this lot. But then of course we continue with X-Men Annual 16, X-Men Annual 17, X-Men Annual 18, And then uh, X-Men Annual, it, it says one, but it's, it's the 1992, X-Men Annual One. Oh, this is, oh, is X-Men Annual One from the, um, the Jim Lee uh, X-Men series. Um, cool. I got all of these books, all of these annuals, you know, it's, what was it, you know, uh, 15, 14, looks like 15 of them. Plus this one, 16 books, and this one is, you know, a, a nice high grade, lower number uh, X-Men book. I got all of these books right here for $76.63 after ship, shipping and tax. That's actually a really good deal. And of course I have my friend X-Men 141 signed by Chris Claremont in the 9.6 white pages here keeping me company. So you could have guessed that X-Men books were going to be part of this unboxing at some point. 
So, wow, I'm really excited about this unboxing. I think this is a really good one. Like I said, I got a bunch of X-Men books. Oh, in fact, the only X-Men book that I have left to get as part of my Chris Claremont run is X-Men Annual 3, and I actually just purchased it yesterday. I think I got a pretty good deal on one. So now I'm done. I am done buying X-Men Claremont books for now until I get a <laughs> the, the, the drive to start getting all of the other ones as well. But I think I'm going to be okay for a really long time. Um, I hope you liked seeing my unboxing today. If you did and you didn't hit the like button before, please, I encourage you and I, I, I ask you to please hit that like button right now. And as always, I say, if this is the first one of my videos that you have seen, thank you so much for watching this video, especially all the way to the end. I please invite you to hit the subscribe guy and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you're informed about videos like this that I drop randomly. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.